Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Victor AC800 action camera. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a Victor AC800 sports action camera with a 4K Ultra HD video resolution or 20 megapixel still picture resolution. And here are some of its features. and contact details as well. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by of course cutting apart the sticky seal that's keeping the box lid closed and then opening up the box flap to reveal the Victor AC800 Sports Action Camera right there sitting very nicely in the box Let's start off by removing the contents from it and setting them across the tabletop so you can see very clearly the items that are included with this sports action camera. So always make sure that there's nothing else left in the packaging with any kind of product. Checking through it very thoroughly right there. And now that the box is emptied, we can set the box to the side. Let's set it on the left hand side of the frame. And let's continue to unbox this part of the box packaging. You can see this inner box here. which contains some accessories. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it looks like there are a heap of accessories in here. So let me just pull them all out in one go and then I'll spread them across the tabletop. That might be the easiest thing to do. Otherwise, the video will end up being quite long. So I'm setting that box to the side right there. And you can see this bundle here and it's been taped down. Let's open it up and pour the contents out onto the tabletop right there. Package is emptied. Let's spread them across the tabletop. So you can see a heap of accessories in terms of Mounts, cable, covers, clips, and fasteners right across the tabletop. Hopefully you have a nice good view right there. And just making sure there's nothing that's being covered. So you have a complete view of all the accessories and parts that come with this Victor AC800 sports action camera with a 4K video recording resolution or 20 megapixel still camera recording resolution or taking resolution. So right there, items all nicely displayed very clearly so you can see with this AC800 Victor action camera, all the items that come with it. So giving you a quick close up look at the action camera right now sitting very nicely in its waterproof housing so it is waterproof up to 40 meters and I recently unboxed and tested the AC700 action camera that is also a 4k action camera with Wi-Fi as well and it does have a 16 megapixel resolution the AC700 Whereas this one has a 20 megapixel still picture resolution with this AC800 that I'm handling here in my hand. So you can always check out the AC700 video, which I did recently on my videos list on my YouTube channel, of course, which is where you're watching this from or at. 
So this is the Victure AC800 sports action camera. So it does record 4K or Ultra HD video at 24 frames per second. And it does have a 20 megapixel still picture capturing quality or resolution. So giving you a nice thorough look as it sits delivered in its waterproof housing right here. And of course, there is a mount as well. Clip mount right there. And to give you some idea of the size, resting the AC800 sports action camera in the palm of my hand. It is fairly compact, as with most sports action cameras. Right there, giving you a nice good look. Okay, I'm going to set the action camera down. I'm going to quickly just look through the papers that come with it. So there is a Victor card here with the website govictor.com. And some contact and support details as well. Should you require customer support or would like to provide your feedback about their products. So right there, setting the picture, customer contact card right down. And moving on, there is, oops. An accessories mounting guide right here for the AC800 sports action camera. And it is a very thin guide, thankfully. And it shows all the parts right here that I've laid out across the tabletop. Okay, and on the reverse side, some other mounting information or instructions and how to use the various mounting accessories that come included with this Victor AC800 sports action camera. And now moving on to the user manual, which is quite a chunky, chunky book right here. Just let me make some adjustments right there so that everything is neatly laid out. Right here is the AC800 action cameras user manual or instruction booklet. Okay, so we're gonna have a quick flip through. For your reference, you can see that it is covered in six languages, including English, and table of contents right there. And then of course, the instructions on how to use the action camera. And it's nice to see that this action camera does come with two batteries, which is quickly becoming the standard for today's action camera packaging so that you can experience maximum recording with very little to no downtime at all. So right there, Wi-Fi connecting and computer connecting information or instructions, and of course specifications as well. So just a quick flip through, and you can see the rest of the user manual is covered in the five other languages in addition to English. So right there, setting the user manual down. And of course, very importantly, showing you the batteries. So it comes with two batteries, as I mentioned. Always good to know the battery design and specifications. So I'm just going to show you the batteries very quickly, tipping them out. And the other one as well.
and showing you the batteries close up. So should you need more or extra batteries, you can always refer to this video and the information that you see labeled on these batteries right there. They even have the Victor branding on them, which is good to see. So right there, the Victor AC800s, two batteries that it comes with, one being a spare. Okay, I'm gonna set the batteries down. And of course, show you the cable that it comes with, just in case you like to know how to charge your batteries. So of course, it comes with a USB, micro USB charging cable. So you plug that in to the action camera with the battery inside it to charge the battery. So charging is done through the action camera itself. Okay, so that's that. And now we can move on back to the action camera. Once again, in its waterproof housing. And just let me make some minor adjustments to the background so it doesn't become too distracting to the foreground right there. So a nice clear view, hopefully. The camcorder's autofocus does work its magic right there. So right there, the AC800 action camera in its waterproof housing. And of course, comes pre-mounted on this mount. Now let's go ahead and pop the waterproof housing open by sliding the security lever and pulling back the catch. And then of course, opening the back cover to reveal the action camera and popping it out from its housing right there. Okay, so we're gonna set the housing down and give you a close up look at the action camera. Of course, the battery hasn't been inserted yet. And let's wait for the autofocus to come back in. And you might notice that there is a protective sticker on the lens right there, always good to see. That will be removed at the time of recording to show you what the video footage is like. And at the rear, there is also another protective sticker on the back LCD. So it does have a two inch LCD display, as you can see right there with the protective film on it and on the bottom of the action camera is the battery compartment right there. So taking a look all around, giving you a look at the sides, the front and the different buttons and sockets that are on this Victor AC800 action camera. And let me make a quick adjustment there. Setting the waterproof housing down and just neatening up the table, which I normally do. I know it might some annoy some of you guys, but that's just the way things are done on this channel. Okay, so once again, nice good view right there of the AC 800 action camera from Victor. Let's get the autofocus to come back in. There we go. Nice close up look at the different aspects and angles of this 170 degree wide angle lens sports action camera with 4K Ultra HD resolution. 
and 20 megapixel still camera capture quality. And this time around, resting it in the palm of my hand, outside of its waterproof housing. Okay, so now, of course, in order to power it up, we need to open the battery compartment. So let's go ahead and do that by sliding the security lever out. Normally, the battery compartment or lid will pop open, but that's only because there's no battery in there. So we need to give it a quick tap. And there we go. So that's the battery compartment opened. And just showing you autofocus of my video camera right there. And show you the battery compartment right there. Okay, so now let's slide in a battery. So once again, giving you a look at the battery. Of course, we did have a close up look just now at both batteries, even the spare that comes with it. So we're gonna pop this in very simply. And of course, replacing the cover, making sure that it is in the right orientation. It is correct. I just needed to pop the or push the battery down slightly further. And right there, it's locked in place with the catch nicely in place right there. Okay, so battery in, let's go ahead and turn it on by pressing and holding on that mode button. And you can see that two inch LCD lighting up and started up very, very quickly. Very impressive to see the action camera start up so quickly without any loading screen or animation. And you can see it does have a very wide angle lens, 170 degrees. And there's just showing you the front of the room as well. So I do have my usual horse figure, which most of you who have been following my channel are familiar with. It is about a couple of meters in front of the tabletop right here. And let's just give you some idea of the wideness of this lens. I'm going to get the action camera right in front, right here. And once we get autofocus to kick in, you can see just how wide the lens can capture of the room with this Victor AC800 action camera. Okay, so right there, you can see how huge that difference is between the camcorder and the action camera's scope in terms of the angle of the lens. Okay, so let's have a quick look around the action camera again and scroll through the menus. So let's tap on OK, so OK is meant to start the video recording, but obviously there is no card inserted to it. Let's tap on the mode button on the front, which is also the on off button. So now you can see it is in the still picture mode and tapping again, no file. That is the playback mode. And you can see the menu right here and pressing okay again does bring us back to the video recording or the first screen. So first screen, second screen, which is the picture mode, third screen, which is the playback mode, and fourth screen, which is the settings menu. So let's press on OK, just to show you the different recording qualities or settings. So you can see 4K at 24 frames per second and so on and so forth. So it has defaulted at the factory setting of 1080p. I'm going to record for this video demonstration 4K at 24 frames per second. So that is what I'll be recording at when we test it outdoors. Let's go ahead and set it on that. And let's take a quick look at the other settings as well. So I'm gonna scroll through 
the other settings so that you're familiar with what's what. Okay, so let's go back in, tabbing. So there is gyroscope as well, so different features right there, just showing you the different settings, time-lapse recording as well. Motion detection. Audio recording. Of course you want that on normally. Date and timestamp. The angle, you can choose the wide angle lens, what degree you'd like to record it, which is a very interesting feature. Diving mode, night scene, interval time shooting. So you can see it does take snaps at various timed intervals. So that's another page of settings. You can see there are seven pages of settings all together. Let's set the image quality to the highest. We're not going to take any pictures. We're just going to test it out with the video recording, which has been now set at 4K resolution. Let's just leave the sharpness standard, white balance, auto. But let's have a scroll through at the other settings as well. So there we go. So sometimes the menu, let's go back to auto right there. And of course there is color as well. And ISO sensitivity. So plenty of options or settings to play around with as you can see. Not just a single sub menu but there are other pages as well so let me press out so i don't interfere with that setting and go back in again because i want to record as standard as possible so the only main setting i've changed so far for our video recording test is the video recording resolution so instead of 1080p at 60 frames per second i have now set it at the maximum resolution at 4k at 24 frames per second. Okay, so let's go back to the menu by pressing on the OK. And we were last at the exposure value or EV setting. Let's move on to the next setting, anti-shaking. Pressing on that, let's leave that on. That's on by default. Delete, protect, Wi-Fi, so you can see the various settings there are on this Wi-Fi SSID. Just trying to get out right there, Wi-Fi password. Okay, let's get out of there before we mess any settings up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to turn off and turn back on again. So let's check out the startup again. So Victor and straight in, very, very quick startup time. Very, very impressive. Let's tab to the fourth screen, which is the settings again. And just being very thorough here, just so you can see the different settings there are available in this action camera. So we're last at Wi-Fi password. So there is date and time as well. Let's press on that. Oops, press the wrong button. My apologies on that one. So date and time right there. Let's just leave it as it is. Automatic shutdown, giving you options there of one minute, three minutes, five minutes, or being off. Let's just leave it at the three minutes. Key volume right there, on or off. Voice prompts, on or off. On-screen display, on or off. Car mode, so it does have a car mode as well. Language, showing you the different languages there. Quite 
a long list of languages. So let's leave it on English, which is what I'm familiar with, and TV mode, NTSC, or PAL, TV off or on, screensaver, off 30 seconds, one minute, three minutes. So let's leave it at the default value at three minutes. And par frequency, let's set it at 60 hertz. Format, there is no micro SD card inserted to format, but those are the settings right there. Or the options and restore default settings, let's cancel that. And hardware information right there with the firmware and product details. Okay, so that's all seven pages of menus or settings along with their uh, sub-settings as well or details of each of the settings in them. So let's press OK to show you the screen once again on the video mode right there, very wide angle and the quality as well. So a two inch LCD with a very wide 170 degree wide angle lens and that wide angle can be adjusted to four different settings and we as we saw in the action camera settings which we were browsing through earlier okay so now let's go ahead and test the picture AC 800 action camera outdoors Yeah, I think 